The Minecraft 1.21 update is a few days away, so in this video I'm going to go over everything being added in the new update. This update is titled the Tricky Trials Update, so I'll keep this intro short and let's get on with the showcase. The first thing we're going to talk about is this update's main feature and that is the Trial Chambers. A new structure added is meant to be a mid-game challenge. These are massive dungeon-like structures that have randomly generated rooms, so each one is unique. There are chests and decorated pots scattered throughout that have different loots in them. And for the challenge, there's a new type of spawner called the Trial Spawners. These will summon a few different waves of mobs at you, and it will generate more mobs depending on how many players are there. The spawner will be surrounded by a certain type of block which will indicate what mob will spawn. Mobs like skeletons can spawn, but there's also two new mobs that can come from these spawners. The first mob is the Breeze. This is almost like a wind variant of the Blaze. This mob will jump around and shoot out wind charges at you, and when killed, it will drop its wind charges and a Breeze Rod. The wind charger you can use to create a big wind explosion that you can bounce yourself or other mobs. Or you can shoot it at a redstone contraption and activate the redstone. It fires in a perfectly straight line, so it's perfect for activating redstone remotely. The breeze rod is used for something we'll talk about in a minute. And the next mob is the Bogged. This mob is a swamp variant of the skeleton, like how the Stray is a cold variant of the skeleton. And this mob will shoot out poison arrows at you. So it's kind of just a slightly upgraded skeleton. And starting from this update, now skeletons that spawn in swamps will spawn as Bogged. After you complete these waves, the Trial Spawner will shoot out various different loot. Then it will put itself on a cooldown for a little bit, where you can eventually do the waves again and get more loot. But one of these pieces of loot is the new Heavy Core item. This item you combine with a Breeze Rod and you can make the new Mace weapon. It has low attack and low attack speed, so it's not that strong normally, but the damage actually scales the farther down you fall. So the more blocks you fall, the more damage you do. And if you hit the swing, it will negate all fall damage. I guess you could consider this a new clutch if you wanted to. Do. Put all the normal sword enchants except sharpness on it, and there's also three exclusive enchants for the mace, with those being the density enchant, which is an enchant that makes you so you deal more damage per block fallen, and this is incompatible with another enchant called breach, which when applied will reduce the effectiveness of armor. And the last enchant is the wind burst enchant. This will create a big wind blast when you hit a mob, and it is a stronger wind burst than the wind charges do. This update also has a slight rework to the way Bad Omen works. Now, instead of getting the effect directly from killing a pillager captain, it instead will drop a new item called the Ominous Bottle, which you drink to give yourself the effect. And when you go into a village, it will remove the effect and give you the new Raid Omen effect for 30 seconds. When this effect runs out, it will actually start the raid. I'm not really sure why they made these changes, I'm guessing it's just to like prevent people from accidentally starting raids, because I've done that a numerous amount of times and it's just kind of annoying. They just like added a few extra steps in there. But maybe it was because they also added a new use to Bad Omen. When you go into a Trial Chamber with the Bad Omen effect, it will change to the Trial Omen effect. When you have this effect applied, it'll make the mobs that come out of the Trial Spawners stronger. But it will also make the loot better. One of the things I forgot to mention earlier is one of the items you can get from the Trial Spawners is the Trial Key. This can be used to open up another new item, the Trial Vault, which when you give it the key, it will give you different types of loot. But when you have the Trial Omen on, it will actually give you an Ominous Key. This can be used to open up these special ominous vaults, which will give you even better loot. There's three new music discs in this update that can come from these vaults. Those discs being Creator, Precipice, and a music box version of Creator. There's also two new armor trims you can get, those being Flow and Bolt. You probably notice there's a bunch of new blocks in here too. The walls of this place are made out of the new tough bricks. Tough before was pretty useless in my opinion, it didn't really have much to do with it. But now they've added a bunch of new tough blocks, and a lot of these look really good, like the bricks, the polished tough, the chiseled tough, and the chiseled tough bricks. And it also just added slabs, stairs, and walls for regular tough too. Tough was something I always used to just throw away because I thought it was really ugly, but these new stuff looks really good, so I think I'm going to keep it from now on. There's also a bunch of new blocks you can make from copper. One of those being the copper grate, this cool see-through block. You craft them with four copper blocks like this. There's also chiseled copper which is crafted with two cut copper slabs, and there's also the copper bulb, which is crafted with four copper blocks and one blaze rod. The light from these will dim the more oxidized it gets, and there's also copper trap doors and copper doors, which use the same recipe as normal doors and trap doors, just with copper ingots. And of course, all of these have all the different stages of oxidization and can all be waxed. There's also some new banner patterns you can get from these trial chambers, those being the flow and guster banner patterns. And there's three new pottery shirts you can get, those being Flow, Guster, and Scrape. There's four new potions added in this update, the first one being the Potion of Infestation. You brew it with a stone block and it makes it so anything killed with this effect on will spawn a silverfish. All of these effects have something to do with spawning something when you die. Next is the Potion of Oozing, which is brewed with a slime block. This makes it so you spawn slimes when you die. 
Then there's the potion of weaving, which is brewed with a cobweb and will spawn cobwebs when you die. And last is the potion of wind charging, which is brewed with a breeze rod and will make a big wind charge spawn when you die. These potions will drop onto mobs during the trial chamber, so it will make them harder. And of course, all of these have the splash, lingering, and tipped arrow variants. There's also four new cave sounds that can play, so that's cool. There's also 20 new paintings you can get. I think that's really cool. We haven't gotten new paintings in a long time. Except for those four element ones, but they're not officially in the game. And there is also a bunch of new, like, commands and bug fixes and stuff that I'm not going to talk about in this video. If you trade a cartographer up to Journeyman, you can actually get a Trial Chambers Explorer map. And it works just like all the other Explorer maps in the game. The last real feature in this update, and it's probably my favorite one, which is kind of ironic because it's like the only feature that doesn't have to do with the Trial Chambers, and that is the Crafter. It's a new redstone block that allows you to auto-craft things. It's crafted with five iron ingots, a crafting table, a dropper, and two redstone, and it is a pretty revolutionary block. It allows for a lot of things that were not previously farmable to be farmable now. So before we would always have to manually craft stuff, whereas now we can actually have a machine do it. Stuff like this has been in mods for a long time, but it is something I never in a million years thought we would ever see in vanilla. But I am definitely very happy that it is. And that's all the real features in the update, but there is a couple new advancements I want to talk about. The first one is Minecraft Trials Edition, which is just setting foot in a trial chamber. The next one is Crafters Crafting Crafters, which is basically just to have a crafter auto-craft a crafter. Then there's Lighten Up, which is where you scrape a copper bulb with an axe to make it brighter. Who Needs Rockets, which is to launch yourself with a wind charge. Under Lock and Key, which is just to open up a trial vault. Revolting, which is just to open up an ominous vault. Blowback, which is to kill a breeze with one of its own wind charges. And Over Overkill, which is to deal 50 hearts of damage in a single hit with the mace. And with that, that is officially everything being added in the update. If you like this video or the update, make sure to leave a like on this video. If you're new here, I do showcases a lot like this for different mods, but since this update was coming out, I figured I would do one for it. So subscribe if you want to see videos just like this one. Overall, I think this is a pretty solid update. Definitely better than 1.19 to 1.20, which were not bad, but definitely underwhelming in my opinion. And that's really all I have to say, so I'll see you guys when I upload next. Goodbye.